Throughout this lesson, we've been using text almost as a communications tool, and I've shown you how to format it and put it on a fireworks document and stuff like that. But sometimes you want text to just be nothing more than an artistic element. You want to be creative with it. In this exercise, we're going to do just that. We're going to put the word neon on this wall here and turn it into a neon sign. To get yourself started, open up the neon.jpg image located in your exercise folder. And when it opens, you'll actually see the image I'm talking about, a little bit of graffiti over here. So the plan is, as I said, to create some neon text. So let's get started. First step, just come over to the vector tools, choose the rectangle tool, and just draw a rectangle that covers the image. And you're going to do something a little bit weird here, but bear with me because it's kind of neat. You're going to add a gradient. We're going to put a radial gradient in here, just like that, and then choose the color chip. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the middle color to black. So it's back to being solid black, but we're going to take this chip here, this one at the top, which is the opacity chip, and we're going to knock the opacity back to about 40%. And you can see that the wall is showing through. Now we're going to get the selection tool, and we're just going to change the angle of the gradient. We're going to light up the area where we want the neon sign to be, right there. And we're also going to apply a blend mode to this shape. And we'll use the overlay, which is kind of neat because it uses the colors in the object and sort of brings them up. So that's done. Now we can concentrate on the text. But I think there's one more thing we want to do here. I want to give myself a little bit of a bracket in here. So we're going to do the same thing. Only this time we're going to get the pen tool and you're just going to draw a shape just sort of like what I'm doing here. You can draw any shape you want. You can, you know. And you're just going to come down and sort of make like a cutout shape here. And we'll put one right there and then we'll just cover the corners and then close the shape. And it's filled with black. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give it an edge. We're going to give it a feathered edge, and we're going to take it way up. We're going to take it up to about 90 pixels. And what that'll do is just fade off the edge very nicely, and then we'll apply the same effect that we did with the square, the overlay. And you get just this interesting sort of shape here and this area which sort of draws your attention to it. So let's now do the text. Now, you can choose any font you want because we're going to do something with the font, which is well more in the creative event. We're going to turn it into artwork. I'm going to be using Gil Sans, and I'm going to use a rather large version of it, and I'm going to type in the word neon. And with the word neon here, I'm going to just make sure that I can get it to fit. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller here. I'm going to take it down, say, to about 100 pixels. I'll go with 120. And there's the word neon. Now this is kind of useless to us until we do something with it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the text menu and we're going to convert the text to a path. We're just going to turn it into artwork. And now that it's converted to path, we can ungroup it, modify, ungroup. And now it's individual text. And what we can do now is just turn off the fill because we don't need the fill. We need the stroke. So we're going to give this thing a nice stroke. We'll give it a nice red stroke, as you can see. And we'll take it up to, say, about 5 pixels. And you can see that it's fairly nice. Now, another type of font that you could use here is a rounded font. Okay, so I'm going to take it down to 3 because it's just a little bit too thick. And then what I can do is come here to the Filters menu and put a glow on it. You can see there's the glow, and we'll change the glow to like a, oh, I don't know, a yellow. And you'll see that you can light up the letters. Okay, so we're going to undo that, Command or Control Z, and just get rid of the glow filter. And we're going to come over to the layers, and we're going to select the path. Okay, so that's everything there, that the letters are in the path. And then we can apply the glow filter to the whole thing. Give it a yellow. And that's way too big. We'll take it down to about three. And we'll set this value to a little bit lower, make it maybe five. And we can take up the opacity to 100%, make it really 
bright. If you don't want to do that, you just click the eye and then pull it down. We'll pull it down to about 43%. And you can see that you can affect the brightness of that glow color. And if we deselect, you can see that you've got a neon light effect. Now, if you find that red to be too strong, no big deal. You just come back here and let's knock it back to about three pixels. And there you go. You've got yourself a wonderful neon light sitting on a wall with graffiti. So in this exercise, what I've done is I've shown you how to use some of the filters. I showed you how to use the overlay blend mode. I showed you how to apply opacity to an element of a gradient. I also showed you how to take text, convert it to an outline and take the fill out and then do the stroke of the outline with a color and then apply the glow filter to actually give you a nice little neon light effect.